What is up, everybody? My name is Gene, bringing you guys part 22 for my playthrough for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. As always, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new, you're subscribed to the channel. Again, guys, follow me on Twitch at Genes25. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday for you guys to so turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on anything. So, guys, in the last episode, we actually made our way to the Zone of Ruins and the Spring of Courage right here. And we actually dropped our Fire Rush of Scale in here to unlock Shrine. But in this episode, we are actually going to be moving along. We're going to fast travel back here to the Elden Tower and discover this region where we're going to be doing something actually very big. This is what I was talking about that we need like 13 hearts to do. But since we're at 12, we can probably find four more shrines just like walking around here, you know. So we're going to head over to the Elden Shrine and start heading our way that way. So now that we have made it to the Elden Tower over here, I believe we have to look. Is it this way, right? Am I facing the right way? Yeah, just about this way. But I don't see any Sheikah Tower. Or is that the Sheikah Tower? How far is that one? Look how far that one out is. Let's see if that's it. I just gotta line it up nicely right there. Is that the one we're looking for? No, that is all the way in the other regions. So we're just gonna delete that one. But we cannot actually see the Sheikah Tower just yet. So we're gonna have to get grooving along here. And maybe we can see it as we keep moving forward. Yo, what you want, fool? What you want, little fireless offos? What you want, punk? Get out of my face. I'm using this weak spear and still ripping on you. Yay. Oh, will you stab us that hard? What you want? Lucky we're wearing our bad armor. I'm gonna put you in this lava. Oh, baby. What you want? Get out of here. Get in that lava. What you want? Where's wrecking on? Give me a bomb. Yay. Sorry. Bang. <laughs> Give me my next bomb. Let that roll down that hill. Look at it. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Ripped. Yo, you want more of this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're done, dude. Get out of my house. You can pick up this spear now. But guys, we're actually just traveling over here. If you actually look just over this way, right here, you can actually see the tower is right there. I actually marked it right there. That is the tower for the next region. I forget what the region's called. I don't know, but look at this. We're gliding over the lava, baby. Woo! <laughs> we're grooving along right here. I just forget what the region's called, but this is actually like a very cool region. There's a lot to do here. There's like nice side quests and there's one big main mission that we have to do, which is like one of the biggest things in the game. But check this out. We got some rocks just chilling here. Is this for Korok Seed, I believe? Yeah, I think if you push one down in the water right here. Like, come on. You know what? We're just gonna bring out our stasis and do it this way. If you stasis it, you just hit it like once or twice. We'll actually be able to move and then break it. We'll actually slide down here. I believe if you just throw a rock in the water, you get a Korok Seed. Yep, there it is. <laughs> now that we finally made our way over to this tower, look at it, it's just chilling here. I just want to show you guys the view. Look at this. Like, if you look all the way back here, you can see Sheikah Towers that we got before. Like, I believe the Great Plateau is over there. Like, that's crazy that we can see the Great Plateau. Like, look at it on our map. We're right here. The Great Plateau is all the way over here. Like, the starting area, it's all the way over here. So, like, for us to be able to see that, that is just crazy. This game is amazing. And then look at the castle over there. Hyrule Castle is just destroyed by Ganon. We're actually going to start gliding over here and actually find out the name of this place. But I need you guys to let me know in the comment section down below which divine beast would you like to see me do first? Whether it's the bird over in the Rito region or the camel over in the... I forget the name of that region, but the two powers are... I don't even want to say it, but let me know which divine beast would you like to see first? In the desert region or like in the air region? Let me know. But this is the woodland tower right here. This is the woodland region. That's what it's called. Whoa. This mob one doesn't even see us. But we're gonna get grooving up here. It's a tall tower we gotta climb. Look at that. Can we even make it up here? We might have to use like a skewer or something. I made uh, meals that actually give us like more stamina. So if we run out climbing up here, then we'll just be fine. I'll just like eat one up. Let's do this, right? I'm just gonna go fast. Look, like, see how we're kind of low? Actually, can we make this? I'm not even gonna risk it. We're gonna go into our meals real quick. And check this out. Where's it at? Where's it at? Right here. This will actually energize our... Stamina bar once again, and look at it. We have another full stamina bar, so <laughs> that's awesome. They're always good to carry around. Like, if you just get, like, a bunch of stamina shrooms, like, you just throw them inside of, a like, the pot, then you'll be fine. You'll just get it right away. Here we go. Making it up to this first little edge right here. We can actually chill here and regain our stamina. Now we can get grooving back. Start making our way up here. But just look at all this. I love how you can see, like, Sheikah Towers that you haven't discovered yet, like, all the way out. Like, other side of the map. Like, this map is so big, and you can actually see Sheikah Towers just chilling there. Like, it's crazy what you could see in this game. The castle is so beautiful. Like, when you go inside it at the end of the game, even though it's, like, all dark and, uh, like, all, like, controlled by cannon, it is just amazing all the detail that they put into it. But 
I wish that's the only thing I wish for this game. After you, you defeat Ganon, the castle doesn't change back. Like I wish it would change back, like to like how it was, like all healed up with like Zelda and just look like glorious. Like that would be awesome. But now we can actually distill this little piece of the map into our Sheikah Slate. But look at this little like rock just chilling on here. Check it, check it, dude. Look at this view. So all the blue towers are the ones that we got. So all the orange ones are the ones that we haven't like discovered yet but this place is crazy guys like i can't wait to go into it it's called the lost woods in there and it's actually like a big puzzle i don't know if we're gonna do that today or in the next episode but right now we're gonna try to defeat shrines because we need four more shrines in order to get 13 hearts and i believe there's one or two in there so we'll see but in the lost woods is what you need 13 hearts for but check it boys check it look at this Get this whole new region and just look at it. That whole like area surrounded by water, that's the Lost Woods. And above it, that's where we're gonna go. It's like a, it's like a little mini dungeon kind of thing. It's pretty cool. So guys, first order of business, we're gonna glide down to these stables over here just so we get it on our map. And there's usually always a shrine nearby. I believe I marked the blue on our map because if I do recall, there's, there's a shrine just chilling over there. So we'll see. Plus I wanna buy some arrows as always. Every time I go to a stable, I'm always looking to buy arrows and all that. But I'm waiting for the sun to come out. It's actually going to thunder soon if you look in the bottom right corner. But look at this fortress right here. <laughs> like, we can take on all these little punks right here, but it's not even worth our time. Yeah, Sarah is a shrine nearby, so I believe that's the one I was talking about. Should be right near this water, right? 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 Let's check it. Where you at, shrine? Where you at, boy? I think it's right under this little ridge right here. We're actually running out of stamina. What should we go to first? We're going to go to the shrine first. I believe it's right here. Yeah, there it is. See, I remember. I remember this game pretty well, considering it's been like a year. We're going to fall down here, regain our stamina, and go into the shrine. But just look at this place. Yes, the sun's coming out. Oh, it, oh, it was only going to thunder in the other region. But, dude, the, when the sun's out, dude, the game just looks ten times better. Let's head inside the shrine and defeat it. The shrine's called Tempered Power. I forget this one, actually. Let's see what we got to do. I'm guessing we're going to have to hop down here. Or just hop on this platform. Why don't we have to wait? We don't have to wait for nothing. We have a glider. We have a paraglider, so we're fine. All right, so we start off with a chest here. Oh my god, I do remember this shrine, guys. I do remember this shrine. <laughs> I remember because I was trying to get the big thing at the end, and it was just getting me annoyed. So we're going to bring out this iron sledgehammer that they give us. And what does this do again? Let's see what this switch does. Does this switch just give us another ball? Yeah, this switch will just give us another ball. And what we have to do is, there's a little, like... Like one of those holes over there that we have to put the ball into. So if you go here, it's like, you gotta bring out your stasis. Do this to the ball. Lock onto the ball. And start hitting it. And hopefully that's enough. Let's see. Sometimes you go too far, but it has to be like a perfect shot. It's a laser. No, too short. We gotta try this again. See, we have to get it up in there. It's kind of like, I don't even know what it's like. It's like accuracy practice. But the way I like to do it is I like to stasis the ball. Then I like to lock in on it. So if you look at it, you can lock in on it, and that kind of straightens you out. And of course it didn't. Alright, we have to get one more hit. Straighten that. No! <laughs> See, this is why I remember it. It's just so annoying. <laughs> get it! Get in there! Get in there! Get in there, baby! Let's go! First try! <laughs> Psych, psych, psych. <laughs> it took us a little bit, but where are we at now? This door will actually open up now. I believe we have to do this maybe one more time. I'm not too sure. But we can actually start climbing this ladder. Oh, no, we do not start climbing this ladder. We actually stasis this thing right here. And there's like a loud sound going on, but we just start ripping this thing up. So if we keep ripping this thing up, it's going to shoot that and knock that little platform around. Look at that. Bang, just like that. Now we can actually make our way up here. I believe it won't fall because our weight's kind of light. And there we go. We can actually end off this little shrine. But I just want to show you guys something real quick. We're not going to do it. But if you head back here, this one's actually harder to do. We got to shoot another ball through there just for like a little like nice little chest. But I don't think what's in it is definitely not worth it. So we're just going to end off the shrine here and grab our spirit orb and keep moving along. Look at us grooving along now. We're actually going to make our way to the stable because I want some arrows. I believe we're going to need some arrows for the next uh, shrine mission we're going to do. Because we actually want... I'm just going to mark it on my map right now. We want to make our way over. It's called the Typhlo 
ruins that's what it is tie flow ruins but here's like the entrance over here so i'm just gonna mark it on our map because it's a ruins that we need to like explore and go through and there's a shrine at the end it is actually like such a cool little thing i'm so excited to do it <gasps> and look who's over here our boy has to <laughs> has to is the main Korox. if you guys don't know by now we actually visited him a couple times and he actually like you can exchange your Korox seeds for like more weapon slots and all that but he is the boy look at him but we're not gonna talk to him we actually did that off screen in the last episode but not all in the last episode but we did it off screen i talked about it in the last episode so we got beetle chilling here gonna sell some more arrows which we need give me them all i'll buy them all from you punk and i'll take the 20 right here see we got some rupees now which is nice because like back in the beginning we, we were like we need arrows but we don't have any rupees <laughs> but now we have, have been collecting rocks and all that so we can sell them and get some rupees and all that but we're good now we're just gonna fast travel back to this woodland tower and make our way all the way over to the Typhlo ruins. Look at us, we made it to the woodland tower, but we are actually going to glide around because we have to get to the ruins. It's actually like a pretty far like journey, so we're gonna glide over here. It's actually thundering, which is terrible, dude. I hate it because I had to remove all my metal weapons and all that, so it's just a pain in the neck. But where are we at? I believe there's a path. Let's see. Let's check out the map. Now, this path will just leave to the forest. We have to run along the rock side and get over here. Okay, so let's just keep making our way that way. And then we'll eventually get there. But, dude, this rain is just awful. This is awful. But, guys, I am so excited to go inside the Lost Woods. That, I think that will be the next episode. Because these ruins will take a little bit. It's like a pretty big uh, little shrine mission. Which is, which is cool, though. Considering we don't do too many of them. But on our journey, we can pick up some stuff. Like, look at this. What is this? Iron shrooms right here. Get some materials. or oh, the razor shrooms. That'll help me with cooking and all that. But we're just going to keep grooving along here and make it to the ruins. What a journey, guys. But this is it. This is what we're here for. Look at this little, like, black monk. It just looks so ugly. They should have just covered it in trees. But that is actually the Typhilo ruins. I don't know why they mucked it up like that. But we got a little pinwheel like this. So we can shoot all these little targets. Oh, we missed that one. Good. Out of here. You eat one. No. You too. What you want, last one? You're going slow. We're just going to pick you. But yeah, I don't know why they made the Typho Ruins like dark like that. They should have just covered it by trees. It is dark inside, but like, I don't know. This just makes it look ugly. I'm not a fan of it. But we're actually going to head over here to the right side. Or no, to the left side. And then make a right. Oh, we got some mushrooms first. Look, there's Bambi. <laughs> and wolves and stuff. Oh no, they're going to attack me. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. You guys know I'll murk on you. We'll let these boars live another day and everything. We don't need too much meat or anything. But yeah, I wish they would have just covered it up in the, with some like pretty trees or something. Make it look better. But the entrance is just chilling right over here. So we're actually just going to get grooving along here. And look at this. This is actually like such a cool thing. Like I love the ending to this and all that. It's just like it's a big dungeon. Like it's like a big puzzle kind of thing. But we're going to head inside of this and do this bad boy. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Now that we've entered this. Obviously, we got some like little like notes and all this letting us know that it is a shrine quest So it is all dark. It is called the shrouded shrine So we're actually gonna pick up this torch. We're gonna need this all. What do we gotta drop? We'll be dropping Go into our inventory We'll be dropping we're gonna say bye to the giant boomerang. He stinks pick up this torch And switch to it actually because we're gonna need this considering it is just pitch dark. Can we light this? Yeah, we can light this we can actually start finding our way over here start lighting all these torches so look at this. We got all these torches. We're just going to keep heading this way. Let's see. Let's see. It's more of a, just like a puzzle. Like you got to figure everything out. How I figure it out is kinda, I kind of look. I think the birds, these little torches like lead you away. So we're going to go straight it says. Now we're going to just keep looking. Like this one says like diagonal. So we're just going to follow the path this way. Let me see another one. This one says right. See how it's like noses like that. But we got a chest. We're going to we're gonna light this one and grab this chest real quick. But yeah, if you follow the bird's nose, I think that's the key to it just to follow their nose so like you come back here look since you get this one this one points to this one and then this one points straight this way so we're just gonna keep heading this way see what's up and we got this one wait a minute let me light this get out of here oh we just murked them all we want something to torch we can pick all this stuff up yeah we just murked on them we can actually just follow this one which way is this lead right here just goes right here just gonna keep heading this way is that another torch we're actually just going to throw this torch, because maybe this one's burning up. And pick up this one. And I'll head this way. Just follow this right here. See what's over here. Bang, this way. And now we can make our way up these stairs. I think that's such a cool little thing. We're going to light this. 
We got a chest too. Look at all these torches. We're gonna pick up this chest. What's inside? Show me the goodies. Amber, this stinks. Look at the little mushroom over there just glowing. <laughs> That's pretty funny. We're actually gonna just head here. Grab this chest. Oh, we need a lighter torch again. A star fragment. Those things, that's actually the first one we found. But the star fragments are actually used for, like, cooking. If you throw them in, like, your meals, it boosts them up all the time. So we actually have to head straight this way. So we're just gonna head this way. Here's an, uh, the next torch. Come on, light it. Link, light it. There we go. <laughs> now keep moving along. There's just, like, arrows and stuff just all lit here. I love this little place. It's just, like, a nice little mini dungeon. Keep heading straight through here. Oh! No! Oh, what is that? This deer just ripped on us. Like this one. And he just ripped. Let's get away from me. <laughs> He's murking on me. There's the next torch. Let's go. Let's keep grooving. The ending is so funny. Well, it's not like funny, but it's just like cool. Considering we haven't seen one of these guys yet. I don't believe we have on video. I believe we're getting closer and closer. Go ahead in this way. It's just a big long path. I wish this place would light up so we could see like the full inside of it. I think that'd be so cool. Grab this. I actually hear the thing. I actually hear the thing that it's scaring me that it's coming up. <laughs> Grab this chest. We got another amber. They're just giving us a bunch of rocks. But I hear the thing that we have to burst. <laughs> I'm just terrified. We're just going to keep heading this way. Look for another torch. Light it. Yee, yeah, baby. Yeah, here's the next one. And then here's the bridge. Uh-oh. No! I want to light my torch. There we go. Light that torch. Can we get up here? We don't even have to climb up here. We just have to keep heading this way. Dude, I think you guys hear it too. <gasps> Look, there's the shrine. There's like the shrine right there. It's kind of like we got to get the ball from the keeper. This tells us to just keep going straight. I believe it did. And this nose points this way. And then this one points this way. Cool, cool, cool. There we go. Oh my god, I'm getting scared. <laughs> Look, here we are, guys. We need to get a ball here. As you can tell, we can lock on to something. Let's light these torches first. Like, there's the ball. You can see the ball is just light there. If you actually get closer and closer, you hear this little, like, monster thing. And look at this, baby. We're just going to shoot him. It's a Hinox, everybody. You guys don't know what a Hinox is. We're going to try to lead him to the light. We actually got to bring out a good weapon here. What are we going to use? We're going to use the fork with all spear. It's actually just a big giant with one eye. You guys can't really see him fully. Oh, he's coming after us. He's like the keeper here. We're going to try to bring him over to the light. We got to shoot him in the eye. It actually stuns him. I can't get him. Yeet. There we go. Stun him up real quick. He's a big giant. Now we can just start ripping on him. We actually have our Daruk's protection and all that, so we'll be fine. We just keep ripping them up. Where, where am I at? See, he just kicked us, but Daruk's protection. We're golden. Look how big this guy is. Ripping him up. Let's go, boy. Get away. He's big boy. Yeah. Shoot him in the eye again. That does so much damage. Now we can just walk up and start ripping on this fool. But once we defeat him, he will actually drop. Oh, our sword broke. You actually dropped that ball. We're actually just gonna. Oh, I can't even see. We're just gonna finish him off with arrows here. Because we're golden. One more shot. Yeet. See you later. That's how it's done. <laughs> and look, he actually drops like really good weapons. He has a nice bow, nice broad sword, and all that. But yeah. Oh, and look at all the food he drops. Whenever you kill these guys, like they're all out in like the wild and everything. They drop like a bunch of goodies and stuff. Like a bunch of roasted food and all that. It's just awesome. <laughs> look at all the stuff we get. But we can actually pick up this ball now. And just place it here. And now we can get this shrine. Let's go. See, that's what I loved about this little ruins part. It was just like so cool. It was like a nice little mini dungeon that we can do to be able to get a shrine. But now with this shrine included, we're going to need to just to do two more shrines. And then we will have 13 hearts, which I think we can do inside the Lost Woods. Which I'll show you guys what the Lost Woods is in a second. But look at that. Shrine comes out the ground and we defeat the shrine quest. We're going to actually start heading there. We got some more stuff we can pick up. We got a toenail and, like, the roasted bass. There's another torch, but we don't need a torch. Not a big deal. We ain't worried anymore. We can see. We can just see the shrine. We can just head over to it. But, yeah, this is definitely one of the cooler shrine quests. There's actually, like, one that I like a lot more. But you guys will see that in the future. Let's head inside here.
Of course, guys, this is a blessing shrine considering like the ones that we have to do like work for or like shrine quests for, they're usually blessing shrines. So we can grab what's inside of it and then grab ourselves a spirit orb. What we got? Ancient core, that's good. We actually have to head to the lab soon. Maybe go uh grab some really good stuff. Now that we've made it out the shrine, there's really nothing much we could do here. So, like, the best way to get out of here, I believe, can you fast travel out of here? I think we're just going to fast travel out back to the Woodland Tower and then make our way to this path right here. This is the Lost Woods, so I can show it to you guys real quick. So we're actually gliding off the Woodland Tower right now, and we're going to make our way to the path that leads to the Lost Woods. But we're not going to go inside of that, because I want to say that for the next episode. It's actually, like, a pretty big journey, and we're going to do something huge in there, which is, like, one of my favorite things to do. But, we're gonna get whooping on this wolf. What you want, fool? You get out of my face. You want some of this? Where you going, punk? Yeah, you, you run away. You run away. You scared, little boy. What you want? You lucky. You lucky. If I miss you, then. If I miss this shot, then you're staying alive. Nope, you're dead. Psych, give me your meat. Give me your raw gourmet meat. <laughs> but yeah, we can just keep going on this path right here. No lead to the entrance. Oh, what's this? An arrow! I think that's the one that we missed. We just pick it up, grab this acorn too. I love just like searching around areas and like finding a bunch of materials that we never had before. I just think it's so cool. Oh, mushrooms. Silent shrooms. Yeah, I know those. We got them before. And we're out of stamina. Let's see if we can bomb this hill with a nice shield surf. Just say yeet. Can we slide on this? Oh, we can. Yeet. Let's go. My shield is like badly damaged right now. But there we go. Nice shredded there. And here is the entrance to the Lost Woods. We're not really going to head in here, but... You have to follow a straight path and figure out the puzzle. Because if you head off path, you have to, it takes you back to the beginning, which is terrible. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new, subscribe to the channel. As in the next episode, we're going to be headed into the Lost Woods and doing something big in this game. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.